<laughs> Welcome to the Tipsy Two. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what else? What else is going on? Oh, mm. have you listened to any good podcasts? Um. Oh my gosh. You, do you listen to Juicy Scoop? Okay, so I have it downloaded and I try to, but I've been very, um, like I've tried to now instead of listening to the radio when I'm driving 24-7 to listen to podcasts. Okay. So I have her downloaded, but like, okay, so why? Okay, so if you're a Juicy Scooper, which I'm a former, I need this to be clear, a former Juicy Scooper. Because she had a regular, and if you guys follow this drama, you know all about it. Um, oh. Yes, Heather McDonald. Heather McDonald's Juicy mm-hmm. Scoop. Okay. So I was a Juicy Scooper, basically just to listen to like hot topics. She would have guests on. And then I started to notice that she had all these regular guests on. One of them being um, Justin Martindale. So she's Justin Martindale, Chris Vandrola. She has Brandy and Julie from The People's Couch. Like if you're a Juicy Scooper, you know her regulars. Well there was a falling out between her and Justin Martindale. And if you follow the pod little scene, you know about this like drama. And I've been waiting, I don't subscribe to her Patreon, so I don't know her side of the story. She made her listeners pay to hear her side of the story. Mm -hmm. Well, Justin just came out with his side of the story and it's for free, of course, on his pod. His podcast is called Just Saying with Justin Martindale. <coughs> I think yeah. it's under, like, the comedy store or whatever. But anyways, he kind of... The last 30 minutes of his most recent podcast... Yeah, that... Mm, mm. She is not a friend or an ally. I can tell you that. And um, he broke it all down. And it is, if you follow it, it's super juicy. Um, it's real good. And uh, I unfollowed her. I unsubscribed from everything she does. Why? What happened? Like and in a I, short like breakdown, what happened? And now I am only following Justin, and I'm here for Justin. I mean, she's just a shady friend. You know, he breaks it down completely, and you don't know him. Um, you know, so I I won't go through it all. But if you're following this podcast, which you should like and subscribe. Hey, guess what, guys? We have 19 followers, which I know is That's a lot. on YouTube. <laughs> TikTok, where are we at? We have 100. <laughs> what? Okay, anyway. So we need, if you're watching this on YouTube, and um, just like hit the subscribe button and never watch it again. But mm-hmm. I want 20. I'm like, I, 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 my brain will not allow <laughs> there to just be 19. So make it 20, please. I, I beg of you. But anyways, if you follow Juicy Scoop and Justin Martindale, she like, so basically like Justin, she put on her Patreon, she was talking about Justin and people were writing kind of terrible things about Justin and she was hurting it on the down low. Mm. So people were screenshotting that and tagging him and letting Mm -hmm. him know that your friend is hurting when people are saying that you're grooming kids and you're this or all this really inappropriate mm. wild stuff that he does not do. Yeah. Okay. Um, but what do you think her reasoning for was? I don't know what hers, I'm not paying her $20 a month to find out. Wait a minute. What was that? What Justin was it fine with was her unwillingness to participate in his drag. Is it dangerous? Okay. So telephone? yeah. So he had either. They all live in um, Hollywood. Mm-hmm. You know, she lives yeah. up in, um, I want to say like Woodland Hills or something like that. And he lives, you know, in L.A. too. She's never paid her talent. She has regular, regular people. Brandy and Julie, Chris Vendrola, Sarah, Justin. Regular cast people that come in Mm -hmm. and only improve her show. Yeah. And she's never paid them one dime. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, that was one of the issues. He didn't have it. Somebody else did. But I'm just saying, like, he drives like an hour to do her podcast and it's always a great podcast. People love Justin. People that didn't know Justin now know him through Juicy Scoop yeah. or whatever. Right. Well, anyways, he was asked to do um, a be a host at this drag show event. It was like a fundraiser. like Charlize Theron, um, Leslie Jones. There was a lot of celebrities or whatever. Well, she claims to be an ally to the L- LGBTQ, whatever. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the things. All right. the L- L- elemental people. All of them, yeah. Asterisk signs. <laughs> um, it... <laughs> and and um, he was like, obviously, you're an ally, so can you do, like, a quick quick little short video for our fundraiser? Um, you know, 
because you have, I'm gay, I'm on your show, Brandy, and, you know, Brandy's gay, you know, obviously you're, yeah. you should be happy to do this. He goes, she looked me dead in my face and said no. And he was like, kind of was taken back, like, oh, she's joking or playing. He, no, she wasn't at all. So he was like, um, okay. So she declined to send like a little short video saying, please like donate to this great organization. It helps what was her reasoning. It's for bullying, basically. She said no to that? She said no to that. She doesn't like bullying. No, there had to have been something no. different. No, it's not. And he really kept quiet. Like this issue that they've been having has gone on for a while. And she's um, really kept, qu he's kept quiet about it. He's been classy about it, kept quiet about it. He didn't want to, he was hoping the dust would settle and just go away. They, they do shows together. He's a comedian. She's a comedian. She, he would open for her at a lot of things. And um, one of the last things that they, the last like episode of Juicy Scoop they did together, she promoted this thing that they were doing. I think it was in Lake Tahoe or somewhere. But he kind of was an opener and supported her at her shows. And uh, all of a sudden... I was watching Justin's pod and he was like, yeah, I won't be at Lake Tahoe. I need a break. So I was like, oh, is there a rift? Mm -hmm. So it turns out there is a big giant rift and that it's a disaster. Listeners. Yeah. Wow. And, um, you know, she's burning bridges all over because do you know Jeff Lewis? Yeah. Oh my God. From yeah. Flipping Out? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's been in all these little So wait, fights. I don't understand. Is she not supporting LGBTQ? Mm-mm. And bullying? She is, but she, she, I guess she was just like, no, like, I can't do that. Like, I don't want my listeners. Yeah. He's like, he goes, he's been on Joe Rogan. He's been on other podcasts where it's much more masculine. And That's you would think so he would strange. get yeah. the hate from right. maybe yeah. those podcasts. He said, I never have gotten the hate from those people on other podcasts that I've done where the people are a lot more masculine and you would think I might get some hate. I didn't. He goes, but her people were giving me hate and she was hurting it. I don't know. It's really juicy. So, I'm telling you, there's drama. Well, I'm telling you, stop have to watching start the board and the beautiful. <laughs> no, <laughs> I need. She is on my list, and I, like I said, when I've been driving, I've been trying to listen. However, one um, podcast that I did just finish listening to was just B. Is it just Bethany? Oh, Bethany Frankel. Um, Bethany Frankel, formerly of the of New York Housewives. Housewives of New York. Um, and she had Rachel or Raquel. Raquel. Oh on there and I was like oh I'm so listening to this I had like an hour drive but there's like I think three segments of it did have you listened to it I listened to all three segments you did I just finished up and I was like oh shit she's another one she's I don't like Bethany see now that's where we like beg to differ because I love Bethany and you hate Bethany but I, I, I don't hate anyone, but well, I, I'm, okay, not sorry. Be, I'm not a you fan of Bethany. I'm not a fan of Bethany. Hate Bethany. <laughs> sorry, I, those Keanu early, Reeves. But uh, <laughs> those early years of Bethany on Housewives in New York when she was struggling and coming up, I enjoyed Bethany. When Bethany kind of started feeling herself a little too much towards the end of her, but tender, is that but is that wrong? But is that wrong for her to start feeling herself a little bit? Because so she started but, an entire campaign to. Protect real, um, you know, reality mm -hmm. talent, right? If you will, yeah. Okay, yeah. She didn't pay Raquel. She didn't pay Raquel to be on her podcast. She took full advantage of the whole situation with that's around the Scandal situation. I think that she probably made out at some some way with it. You know, Bethany flew to Raquel and acted as if that was a big gesture. So, do you think? And by that the way. She never watched Vanderpump Rules. I know. She did not watch my... Uh, Your hero. And she can, she's not my hero. Listen, I, I, like, I, I'm drunk. I have to do a shot. Listen, I'm getting in my mouth. <laughs> Merrick oh made my me God. do a... No. Merrick made me do a warm <laughs> shot. And... No. Like, I'm ready to take this wig off. Okay. Come on. <laughs> no. I'm serious. <laughs> Nobody's worried about you. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's the extent no. of our cat fight. <laughs> And we're done. Uh, no. And I mean, scene. I guess the way that I look at it is with Bethany. Like, yeah, I loved when she first started NYC. I, she was one of my favorites. Me I too. couldn't stand Louie Ann. I couldn't stand Sonia at the time. I I don't know. I just liked her. And the reason I liked her is because she started from nothing. Mm -hmm. She has a terrible childhood and background. And she built this 
what, billion dollar company all the way up. And I, and I, I guess that's what I liked about it. You know, there's a lot of like bits and pieces in there that probably aren't so good. However, I understand that she didn't pay Raquel or Rachel or whoever, but I mean, what, who cares? Because this is like, she got the number one freaking interview that yeah, everybody oh, in she's definitely God's me. green earth wanted. She's so, definitely a good marketer. Uh, I mean, I don't. Everybody think wanted this interview she's with Rachel, woman. and Bethany got it. And there's a reason that she got but it. You can't scream from the rafters how people take advantage of reality stars, and that you started this entire movement. And there's a Bethany clause, and then not take care of Rachel. How how do you do that? How do you do that in good conscience? You get paid less than her interns. Bravo is running to the bank. Right. Everybody's taking advantage of Rachel. She's not getting the same endorsement deals that Ariana and probably that idiot Tom Sandoval's getting. It's here. It says, it occurs to me that you are the villain. Ariana is the hero. Tom is another character who doesn't take the hit as much as... Okay, so, okay. I understand what you're saying and I, I do agree with that. But let's... Bethany doesn't have enough quick. money to pay Rachel? Bethany has a ton of money to pay Rachel. Thank and you. And we don't know, like... Bethany let Rachel tell her side of the story, which is something that everybody wanted. Everybody wanted that interview. Mm -hmm. So maybe for Rachel, that was good enough that she but could go on. I and think Bethany knew that that would go over like a lead balloon. Well, who wouldn't know that? Because Rachel's. But who wouldn't know that? Okay. So again, further taking advantage of the situation. You, you know, she's not going to hit okay. it out of the park. You want me to say that she took advantage of the situation? I will. Okay. But <laughs> did I win? <laughs> she won. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Put the arrow <laughs> facing me for once. Wait a minute. How do we do that? Like, uh, this way? Oh, there she is. <laughs> anyway. No, my my thing is, I'm so glad that Bethany um, did interview her. I think she was the perfect person to interview her. I think Andy Cohen um, completely drug Rachel under the bus and had her come back out on the reunion show, even though he knew that she was getting viciously attacked. I'm no way, shape, or form sticking up for her. But, I mean, come on, people. This was a lot. She took a lot on. Yes, she knew what she was doing. She handled it a lot better than I would have. Oh, me too. But guess what? This is reality TV. Um, who on Vanderpump Rules, any of the housewives... Any anybody has not done something like this all of in them. some all shape, way, or form, and because she chose, listen, God, we only have four minutes left. Listen, what happens is I think that Raquel knew exactly, and I still will call her Raquel because that's how I know her on TV. I think she knew exactly what she was doing. I don't buy. I went to counseling. I was in a um, rehab to really just figure out who I am as a person. Honey, you already know who you are as a person, okay? It, you broadcast it on TV. She knows who she is. And this whole bullshit, I went to rehab and blah, 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 whatever. You know what you did. But at the same time, Tom Sandoval knew what he did too. And I, if, if I had to pick... Raquel or Sam or Tom Sandoval, you know, to save as the last person on earth, I would pick Raquel because at least she 100%. is hundred percent. At least she's coming on and saying, you know, this is what happened. This is what I did. This is where, yeah, maybe I need to fix myself. He's out there doing his thing still, um, hook it up with girls. Raquel doing wasn't in a, con a committed band. relationship. Yeah. She, he was. He was. And so. yes, maybe she, yeah, she, not even maybe, she did the wrong thing. That was fucked up. She should not have done that. I'm pointing that out. She should not have done that. However, she did. And now she's getting nailed to the fucking cross and crucified because she did. And these people that are tearing Bethany and Raquel's interview down, Ariana, Sheena, um, Tom Sandoval, um, uh, Katie, all these people that are tearing it down, have no room to fucking talk because at one point or another they all maybe not Ariana but they've all done the same thing. Sheena, it's are Ariana. You serious? Ariana. I said Ariana. Like Uma. Oh, Ar mm, God damn it! And I made sure I said Ariana. Or Ariana. Roll back the tape. Roll back the tape. It doesn't matter. It, you guys know who I'm talking about. But seriously, like honestly, like Sheena has like it just astounds me 
that Sheena had this full on relationship. Yes, I know it wasn't with her best friend's man or whatever, but she had a full on relationship with mm -hmm. Brandy Glanfall's husband, knew exactly what Who, she Sheena? was doing. Yeah. 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 Knew exactly what she was Are doing. Are you kidding? They're all whores. And for sure. now she's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. shut up. Seriously. You did the same thing. Maybe it wasn't for your best friend. It's all the same. It's all Here's the same. Here's my question to you, though. Okay, so Bethany, during that three-course interview, said... I'm going to read you the things that were said to you at that reunion. <gasps> you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. All this awful stuff, right? I mean, and then roll back the tape on all the awful things that Bethany has said to the exact same cast members of her fucking show. No, that is true. Everybody on any She's of She's like, I would kill somebody if they talked to my daughter that way. Yet you talk to other people that way. You're a bully too. I think every single person on any of these reality shows is a bully and... Have been in this position, like Kyle Richards. Okay, her and Maurizio are now done. So is she? Are they? Are they together? They're on a yacht somewhere. They're on a yacht somewhere. Okay, but she like, it's just such crap. And and this was this is what makes for great reality TV. Yeah. Because everybody like you know formed a side, and this is the right side, and this is I don't care. I think Rachel or Raquel fucked up. I think she got way ahead of not way ahead i think she got really deep into that reality side of it and didn't maybe didn't realize or just got caught up in it she got, caught up. she got caught up everyone gets caught up and don't take your bag and it, like everybody else does too you gotta come on it, now yeah i'm trying to figure out how to like salvage your yourself and if it if that meant go getting your mental health treatment then good for you if that makes her feel better then okay that's great but, um, <laughs> whatever. I don't know. We don't have very much time left. I think we need to pick this up next week because <laughs> there's a lot of, like, with the Kyle Richards that I want to talk about. And <laughs> are we going to be doing Wig Wednesday? No, I don't know. I have but, the shot. I should be angry and aggressive. I am angry and aggressive because it, I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, I'm just saying, I don't know. It is what it is. Guys, get over it. <laughs> Love you. Oh.